Hi, welcome back to another episode of Your Money Mindset, guiding you to achieve lasting financial freedom and peace of mind. I'm John McGregor. Just another beautiful day here on the trails of Northern California. It's getting warmer, though, I'll tell you. You know, I often wonder with dismay the dichotomy between how beautiful this state is, yet how horribly it is being run into the ground, frankly. It's just so sad to witness. Anyway, so my last episode, I talked about the 401k versus the Roth IRA versus the traditional IRA. And the reason being is because I get this question all the time from people, which one should they use? And bottom line, the answer is use as many as you possibly can and put as much money into them as you can as well. In 25 years of working with thousands of people, I've never heard someone say to me, you know, John, I wish I put less into my retirement accounts. That's never been said. So today I want to take a little deeper dive into the Roth IRA. And I love the Roth IRA. Problem is there are contributions, uh, contribution limits to it. For 2021, you can contribute only $6,000 per year. And if you're over 50, you can add another thousand to make it six, uh, 7,000. Whereas the 401k, you can contribute $19,500 or $26,000 if you're over 50. But the reason I like the Roth is that when you ultimately do start pulling money from it down the road, 10, 20, 30, 40 years from now, you are not taxed on those withdrawals. So all Although you're not getting the tax benefit now when you contribute and your contributions are this big, 30, 40 years from now, when your account is this big, you're not taxed. So I would rather pay taxes on this amount than pay taxes on this amount. Does that make sense? But because of the contribution limits, 6,000 or 7,000, that's not going to be enough to create a retirement account big enough for you to retire on. And certainly not the retirement I'm certain you've envisioned for yourself and your family. This is why I like the combination between the 401k and the Roth IRA. And before I go any further, I have to throw the caveat out. Making these decisions on which plan and how to use them really requires the assistance and guidance of a tax professional, an accountant, and or your financial advisor. This is a very subjective decision and everyone is different and everyone has specific and unique needs and that's why you need someone who really who really understands you and your financial situation, as well as your goals and all the rules to these different types of accounts. So here's an idea to consider. When you look at the macro picture of what's going on in the world today, certainly in the United States, our national debt sits at just around $30 trillion. And now they're talking about adding another $6 trillion in debt. Keep in mind, as a nation, we only produce approximately $22 trillion. So our debt far exceeds what we produce. They are printing monopoly money at break neck speed, and I don't see an end in sight. In fact, we are driving off a cliff with the pedal to the metal. So the big question you have to be asking yourself is how will this be paid? And you can no longer say to yourself, this is somebody else's problem. That may have worked years ago, but not anymore. We've reached a level of debt that is insurmountable, and it's only getting worse. And they are making no effort, zero effort, to stop the success of bleeding in our financial system. And the only way the only way they're going to be able to maintain this debt and, extraordin and an extraordinary amount of spending on all these wonderful sounding programs is to raise taxes, your taxes. And they say they're only going to raise taxes on the rich because they don't pay their fair share. Well, let me tell you, that is absolute baloney. That is just a pure lie. Historically speaking, when the government says they're only going to tax the rich, always been the middle class that gets hit the hardest. And it's not just in the form of taxes. So given the fact that it's inevitable that all people's taxes are going up, going to go up. At least that's my strong opinion. It may make sense, a lot of sense, to convert your retirement accounts now when they're this big to a Roth IRA if you can afford the tax bill. Yes, you will pay taxes when you convert, but it's my contention to pay taxes here on this amount than pay taxes when they're this big at this amount. Does that make sense? So just a quick example, hypothetically, you've got $50,000 in a retirement account today, and let's say the tax rate's 30%. I would rather pay taxes on it now at $50,000 and at that tax rate than say pay taxes 20 years from now when the account's $200,000 and the tax rate's 40%. You following me here? Keep in mind, you don't have to convert all your retirement assets. You can choose how much you want to convert, but you will have to come up with the cash, the money to pay the taxes at the time that you convert. The other nice thing I like about the Roth is that there are no required minimum distributions for as long as you live. Unlike your, your 401k or the, uh, the traditional IRA, where you are required to take distributions at the age of 70 and a half, Roth IRAs do not have that requirement. One thing I should note is that there are income limitations to contribute 
to a Roth IRA. For example, if you're single, uh, the income range is $125,000 to $140,000 per year in income. And if you're married filing jointly, the income range is $198,000 to $208,000 annually. And if all your retirement money is in your 401k, there may be ways to convert those assets as well. I'll do another episode, another video on that. But in the meantime, here's an article from Motley Fools that explains this process in detail, how to convert your 401k to a Roth. And you must understand these rules before doing any uh, conversion. So if anything, I just wanted to share some ideas and strategies to keep you engaged in your financial affairs and your future retirement. You know, for 25 years of working with individuals of all demographics and income ranges, I can't tell you how many times a 60 or a 65-year-old or even 70-year-old would come into my office and say, John, I'm ready to retire. And with just a quick glance at their financial information and the documents, I could tell immediately there was simply no way they were going to retire and certainly no way they are going to retire uh, the way they had vision for themselves and their family. It's the hardest conversation I have to have with individuals looking at these people who've worked their tail off for 30 or 40 years and telling them, look, I'm sorry, you cannot retire the way you envisioned. You have to keep working or you're going to have to live a very frugal life during your retirement. I don't want that to happen to you. So please don't be that person. Please get engaged in this stuff. It is so vitally important. So check out my website. I've got a ton of free resources that, that you can use immediately to get you in that direction to start your journey to financial freedom. It is never too late to do so. We recently launched a highly anticipated online financial transformation course that has the power to not only change your financial life, but your overall life as well. Consensus is telling me this is a game changer. So with that, hit subscribe. Love to hear a comment from you. And until next time, take care. Upward and onward.